In this quest for the open video, I changed my biggest piece of equipment for years. Burn it up at my next Players Tour event, but finish in a farce. Before my second major of 2022 is played in atrocious conditions. Absolutely bulleted. Oh, I love Scotland. We're here for a week at Dundonald. My next quest for the open competition is in one week's time at Saddleworth. So stay tuned, keep watching for what I hope will be a turnaround in my season. This year, so far, I have been very mediocre. I will throw up my scores here. Nothing drastically over, nothing really under, just very meh, very meh. And open qualifying is only a month away, so I really, really need to start stepping up my game or I've just got absolutely no chance. I may have no chance of finding that golf ball. <laughs> I'm making the biggest change in my bag I possibly could do. And at the start of the year, I didn't think I would, but it's become evident within looking at my stats that something needs to change. And this is it. And I'm talking about the golf ball. So I'm switching from a Vice Pro Plus to a Callaway Chromesoft X. So distance wise off the tee, the Chromesoft X and the Pro Plus, very similar. And distance wise with my irons, I haven't actually changed too much, but it's around the green and the spin that I can get. It's just a little bit more than the Pro Plus. So when I'm hitting a chip, I can get a little bit more spin. I can get a bit more control on my pitches. Another big difference is I've got this triple track technology on the balls now. So this is just helping me line my putter up a little bit better. And as my stats show, oh my goodness me, I need more help with my putting. Today is at Saddleworth Golf Club, which is up on the moors. Actually quite a nice day. I think it's meant to be raining a little bit later on, but I think that's after we finish, fingers crossed. Came for a practice round here yesterday. It's a very hilly, very undulating, and very, very tricky course. Yeah, it should be good, don't it? Yeah, it's gonna be a kick down, so. I'm not playing great at the moment. Hopefully this new ball will help a touch around the greens, but just gonna be a lot more relaxed today, determined, and enjoy the experience rather than being quite so angry with myself. Okay, maybe short. Not that quick. <sighs> Come on. Just be here. Uh, should be short left. That's the plan. If it's got closer, it's wonderful news. My tactics for today, I'm five over already. Chestnut checkers, my friends. Let's look off a bit right. All right, cut the tree. Uh, never piped one down the middle of me so nervous before. <laughs> Ball below the feet, it's gonna move right, pins back right, so there's two trees at the back. If it fades, it's fine. Sit, sit down. Cheers. Gave me a lot. You gave me the line as well. Oh, get lucky. Yeah. Ah, bailed out. Right, over that leaf. Just try and trim that touch. Not too bad. Not too bad, really. I'd rather it there than short, short, shorter on the green, anyway. Deal. 
got to concentrate over every single one of these. There's so much break, it's ridiculous. It's all straight in the back with a fade. Such a bad strike. That was an awful shot. The sixth hole was crucial for me after that bogey, but during my practice round, I managed to lose two balls on this hole. So trying to block that out was tricky. Blasted a three wood down there and had a little slide with my six iron in mind to that back right pin, but I tugged it left and left myself this tricky little pitch. My short game has been pretty inconsistent. So to see this one land exactly where I wanted to and then drip, drip, drop into the hole was absolutely lovely to be honest with you i'm not completely in control of my driver so it was nice to spank this one up the seventh my practice round was very useful to figure this hole out yes it's fine now. this next shot is a long way up <laughs> Pitching with the new ball has been pretty good, as has pace control with the putting. And around these greens, that was very important because of the sometimes severe slopes. You can see that on this shot, I'm aiming about five foot outside the left of the hole on a 15 foot putt. That's extreme. And I never really put myself in danger of a three putt all around. So there's definitely some positives. Talking about severe slopes, check out this 70 yard block off the eighth tee which went so wide, you can see here that Jacob couldn't actually track it till it finished. I didn't actually hit a bad pitch from this rough, but I pulled it left and left myself in a tough spot below the green. Actually, quite a nice chip, but it just didn't release out onto the green as I would have expected. Hit a good putt as well, but unfortunately, I had a power lip out. You can see how it accelerated as it left. Like most of my golf this year, I've been treading water around level par, so it was very important for me to start pushing that lower, and I played the ninth exactly how I wanted to. A lovely three wood off the tee, bang down at my target, leave myself a little perfect yardage with a wedge. I controlled this really well and loaded it with backspin, and I was very keen just to leave myself left of the hole, which meant an uphill putt. Just trying to use a bit more course management. We're not going to talk too much about this putt, however, because this was quite the misread. Again, it was a simple putt, nice, easy par, and let's just move on, give yourself some more chances. Oh, there's no way that doesn't move right. So far, so steady-ish, but this round is about to really kick off, and I'm about to play some of my best golf of the year. Also, in the next Quest for the Open video, we wanna do a massive giveaway, and to activate that, we're gonna need 10,000 likes on this Quest for the Open video. So if you haven't already, wall up that like button, but stick around as well, because at the end of this video, we're gonna be looking at my second major of the year, which was an absolute chaotic mess. Hmm. Wind kind of died as such there. Hey, stressful, isn't it? Thank you. You got it. <laughs> Too many of them. Big heart attack up here. Oh, I'm gonna fade.
Yeah, that should be fine. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. I think it was Scott's chip that did it for me when it was when I saw it started to come in there, to be honest. You can have half of that birdie. You can have half of that. <laughs> right. Cops of trees faded onto the communications mast. This was genuinely one of my best strikes and shots of the day, fading it around to my target perfectly. Unfortunately, me being a silly sausage, I picked the wrong target and ended up in a horrible little spot having to hack something up short of the green. The absolute key with this hole is just not to go long off the pin and I was really happy with this pitch, leaving me just a couple of feet. Even that on these greens though needs focus. Like that was outside the hole I was aiming. Love a 120 yard fade. It's a little bit uh, exposed here, as you can tell. This is called Alice's Best, this hole. Presuming Peter Alice came here one time and said, This is the best hole I've ever seen. Let's have a look. Longest drive of the day down at three, four, five yards, but it's downhill downwind. And this wedge I hit into the green of the par five almost went in for an albatross. Now that. That would have been a change to the title and thumbnail. <laughs> it rolled out a touch on the green, left me about 15 foot up the hill. Actually, a really positive putt that just didn't quite break round, but it helped me for the rest of the round. It gave me that little bit more confidence on the greens. So that ended up being a birdie. And then I hit a 9-9 here on the downhill par 3. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the backdrop, by the way. Absolutely stunning here at Saddleworth. It just pulled up short, left me about a 20 footer down the slope. And again, I hit a really nice putt. Just ended up a little bit short, but I did feel like I was building that momentum on the greens. Not me too disappointed. Okay, come on. Three birdies. Right! An interesting swing. What? No, I just towed the opposite. At that rake. Let it come in. Oh, come on, wind. Cheers. It's okay. Mm. Wind is going to help it, don't need to cut it. That was a brain fart. Oh, Should feed it, such a thumbs up. You never give me a thumbs up. Too, too busy zooming. <laughs> Cheers. Sure. That longish rough up there, isn't it? But... Come down, come down. Uh, yeah, it's, it ran up the bank and came back down. I think it's on the path, I think. Cheers for Yeah, you too as well. Yeah, Thank you. Well, that was a bit of a kick.
tick in the lower half. It's my own fault though, like I didn't even look in my practice round to see if that was out of bounds over the 18th. It's just disappointing. So really I turned something that should have been four under into one under, but overall, considering the way I have been playing, there's definite progress there. Also, round the green felt a lot better today with the new ball, and really enjoyed it here at Saddleworth as well. I think winning score at the moment is something like nine under, which shows that this course is gettable. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more tentative to begin with. But we'll have a look through all the stats and the final standings. I do think I just need a, a coffee and a hug on the way home. But to finally have my putting in the positive strokes gained, you can see I also gained strokes here on short game, but then lost it on approaches, which is a common occurrence this year. That's what I really need to focus on over the next few weeks to get ready for open qualifying. My second major of the year was the PGA North Region Championships, and that was played at Pleasanton, and it was definitely the toughest, worst, wettest, and windiest conditions all in one go that I've played in for many a long year. The second round, we actually got called in for an hour and a bit just because the greens were flooding. I managed to make the cut, but I'm going to show you my scorecard here. Trebles, doubles, eagles, birdies everything so inconsistent it was unbelievable but another positive short game with that new ball and my putting in particular really really good so i made the cut and i ended up finishing the competition i think i was tied 25th but i was so inconsistent off the tee i was truly crap so off the tee and approach play basically full swing that needs more work but i'm delighted to say that around the greens with the new ball it is getting much better my main learning from this, especially with the full swing and something which I need to pass on to you guys, is try and keep it simple. Like going through my head are so many swing thoughts, so many mechanics, just trying to find fair ways, find greens. Then the next few weeks, I really need to strip that back, focus on a few things. And then when I go out to play, just play. Like not be worrying about what my swing looks like. It's always a massive problem when I'm doing YouTube videos and I get to watch it back and I'm like, oh, that's minging at times. So to actually focus on just a few things, get those nailed down, and then be ready for the next Quest for the Open video and the next comp, which is going to be filmed in a few weeks at Ellesmere. So a huge thank you for watching. Really pleased with the new Callaway Chrome Soft Decks. Get down to those comments. Let us know if you have used this golf ball before. As mentioned, absolutely nothing with the Vice Pro Plus. I'm like pointed out there, just sat at the side of the office. But yeah, this just gives just that little bit more spin. Make sure you hit the like button. Need to get to 10,000 to activate the giveaway. And we'll see you next time.